Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we'll talk about how to fix the Epic Game Launcher not showing installed UE4 engine. Please make sure you have a copy of your UE4 engine. Either it is saved in a C drive path or a separate drive or folder. This fix applies to almost all errors. Resetted or formatted your PC, your drive letter change, switching to new PC, anything. Downloading again UE4 engine can take a lot of time. It depends upon your internet speed and all. Please download, install and log into your Epic Game Launcher. As you can see in my library, nothing is showing installed. Whereas in my previously installed folder of UE4 engine or backup folder, I have my all UE4 engine listed here. Even I can open execute a UE4 editor. Let me show you by doing one. For this tutorial, we'll go with 4.24. As you can see, now we are on our Unreal Project Browser, where we can create our new project. Or by going into more, we can browse our existing project. Let me show you by creating new project. As you can see, we have successfully opened our UE4 engine editor. And it is fully functional. Let me close this and show you where the problem is. If you go to my project folder, the file name called my project is not associated with UE4 engine editor. Not showing the new created project under library. The question is how to fix this without downloading the whole engine again and using our existing UE4 engine backup. There is two methods. One, creating a symbolic link between original and source folder. Second, is copying and overwriting to the target installation directory. Let's start with the method 1, creating a symbolic link. Go to command prompt and run as an administrator. Before dive into command terminal, let me show you one thing. I have created a separate folder where I saved my 4.24 version engine and if I try to install the same version over to that folder, this error comes. Directory must be empty. This means I have to delete the directory or rename it and uh, re-download all required files and folder to make this work. And we are not going to do that. We will fix this error by creating a symbolic link. Before that, let me delete this folder. In Epic Launcher, under Library, click on to install to your selected engine version. Select your installation path and click OK. And wait for a while. Let Launcher create a directory structure for UE4 engine. This will take 2 to 5 minutes. As you can see here, the folder is still empty. Once the initializing completed and started downloading from internet, Please pause and cancel the installation. Please don't close the launcher. If you are doing same as I am, you will be stuck with the resume option. Go to your command prompt. Before that, go to your installation directory path. Rename the folder example UE underscore 4.24 underscore copy, which is recently created by Epping Launcher. It is depend upon the version you have selected. The logic is very simple. We are going to create a shortcut INK file or another word for this symbol to our previously backup UE4 engine which is stored in a separate folder or a drive. Go to your command prompt. The command is to create a symbolic link in command prompt is mklink mklink space forward slash 
D then I'll use a code okay here I'm going to specify my installation directory target installation path okay which is f drive backslash desk lab backslash u e underscore 4.24 code okay then the next part is same I have to open a code use a code then same the app right backslash this is the epic game underscore sorry underscore u e underscore 4.24 then I'll use again the code let me explain you mklink space d this is the command where we are creating a directory structure for us with the help of symbolic link okay now i'll show you now see this is the directory okay where we have renamed this directory because we don't want to be conflict with the same directory member okay because this path we have selected in an epic launcher okay to start the installation I mean just to initialize and start the some directory structure hierarchy structure which we have solved just previously okay so this is this path okay after x lab okay and this path is here this is our source previously installed copy backup saved in unreal engine files or folders and everything okay so what we are doing okay we are telling to unreal engine okay that there is a one small path okay means it's a shortcut path okay which is linked to our this drive so what will happen i'll press enter and i'll show you what exactly i meant to say okay when we press enter see here symbolic link created for f drive desk lab ue underscore 4.24 to f drive this okay if we go to our desk lab okay look at this hmm this link is redirecting us to epic games ue424 okay if you have uh, any doubt let me create a one small folder and show you this is coming to this one though okay test hmm? this is the test folder if i go again i'll just refresh and if i go to 4.24 look at this the test is here and here this is showing okay that it is a separate folder and the path but it is linked to this folder where where we have taken a backup before the installation of formatting or transfer the files to the some new system for that i hope you understand this concept if you have any query just you can shoot a message in a comment box Now go to your epic launcher and click on resume to start the installation but this time it will not download from internet this can take uh, some time like from 15 minutes to one hour it depends upon your computer speed and uh, the it's a hard drive or a ssd okay so the data transfer rate also is depend okay so please hold okay i'll fast forward the video just to not to waste uh, your and my time As you can see I have been disconnected from internet but still my installation was going on All the installation file verification and cleanup is successfully completed and desktop icon also created and even our created project is associated with the engine version which is now listing in our epic game launcher As we have completed our method 1 let me show you method 2 Method 2 is copying and overwriting files to the target installation directory. The initial step is same. Please add your engine version you want. Click on install and choose your installation location or directory. 
I will go with the same which I chose for method 1. Now click on install to start the installation. Wait for a while. Let the Epic Launcher to create directory structure in our selected installation path or directory. Once the initialization completed and downloading started, please pause and cancel the installation. Don't close the launcher. Now go to your backup drive or folder where is your all engine files and folders saved. Copy your selected version and paste into your installation directory. If asking, please replace or overwrite all. This will take quite a long time. It will calculate all files and folder and their respective size. This method for those people who are transferring their data from old PC laptop to new one or old hard drive to new one or their hard drive is going to be damaged or uh, having a bad sector so you want to switch to the new hard drive and uh, again you don't want to download all the engines okay so this is the best way to retrieve the uh, ue4 engines to your epic launcher now as we have completed our copying process and all your files and folders for your engine version copied to your installation directory so now you can go to your epic game launcher and click on resume to start the process. The installation is same for method 1 and method 2. So relax and let the installation to be completed. So now we have completed restoring our UE4 engine using our backup and with the help of method 1 and method 2. So go ahead and launch your UE4 engine editor and if required, please allow Epic Launcher to install required prerequisites. I hope this tutorial will help all of us to resolve this type of issues and errors. Thank you for watching and enjoy building something unreal. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great time. Bye. Stay safe.